Hi guys, uh, I wanted to test if Isling does actually work with uh, meta mods and if you can use the bench on a uh, and an item that has a crafting modifier. And as you can see, I put an item in that has prefixes going to be changed and then I click craft and uh, it does take off the previous going to be changed. Uh, I add other suffixes so it, it the previous going to be changed makes the prefixes not able to be touched. And uh, it was a one in three chance of removing, removing this mod. It could have removed any of the other two mods. And um, it does work. You can uh, meta mod before using Isling. So the common use you would use this for is having three prefixes or like three suffixes. And then you meta craft to block them so that they cannot be touched. You roll uh, one or two other good suffixes. Then you block the prefixes. And uh, you use Isling to gamble and remove the crafted mod or um, maybe if you have two like this, let's say I want the crit chance, I, I have a chance of removing the int and I have a chance of removing the crafted mod. So it would be like a 66% chance of adding Isling in this case, if I don't care about the other two mods here. Um, and 33% uh, chance of removing the one mod that I want, but you can always bring it back uh, with previous cannot be changed and harvest rerolling. For example, if you want crit or something that has tags. Now, for the second test, I have uh, the same weapon that I just unveiled. Um, I revealed the mod and the mod was uh, attacks with this weapon penetrate chaos res. And I crafted previous text cannot be changed. And I want to try it to use veiled chaos orb if uh, it actually works or not uh, to try and get the second veil modifier. If it works, I would get a second veil modifier. If it doesn't work, it should either reroll the item or not generate the mods. So let's try it. And it says could not generate mod because the maximum amount of veil modifiers you can have is one if you're using veil chaos orbs. If you were to use Isling, uh, you could get two, but you can't use an Isling if you already have a mod on it. If you have zero mods, you have a chance of getting two. If you have one mod, you cannot get a second one. For the third test, I wanted to test if um, I could block with Canoral Attack or Caster mods on uh, an item while there's a Veil modifier. So let's say I craft Canoral Attack. If I craft this Canoral Attack and I unveil, it should, in theory, um, never give us attack modifiers. But this is not true because it gives attacks tags like this. And uh, physical attack, this is uh, um, an attack tag as well, I'm pretty sure. So this actually does not work. You cannot block with Metacraft. And as a fourth example, I wanted to test if I could block mods from the Unveil using uh, the same mod pool. For example, if we go on Craft of Exile, if we block attack speed, it should remove attack speed with uh, trigger blood raids and attack speed with quality. And let's say I also block accuracy, it should also block this mod. So if I unveil my item in game now, which has both accuracy and attack speed and a suffix build, it should never give me either attack speed or accuracy. Let's try to see if it gives me any of those mods. This is, an, this is not the same um, attack speed mod pool. It's actually not local, it's a global mod and it's really bad. You should never use this mod. And uh, for the last test, I wanted to show you how to use Veiled Chaos Orbs. Let's say you have three prefixes you want to keep. I'm going to take off my weapons so they don't uh, clip together. Uh, let's say you have these three prefixes and you want to keep them. You can just craft prefix cannot be changed and then you can use a Veiled Chaos Orb. The three prefixes are still there. And then you can go on your bench and you can just uh, block a suffix that you don't want. For example, let's say this is a caster wand or whatever and you don't want attack speed, you just block attack speed. And then you can unveil. And when you unveil, you should never be able to get attack speed as we just uh, checked before. This is not the same mod pool as you can see on Craft of Exile. The attack speed plus uh, attack speed when a unique enemy is nearby is not a local mod. So it doesn't actually scale the attack speed on the wand. As you can see, it's blue now. And if we get this mod on the item and then we remove the attack speed, we remove the attack speed crafted. The wand has a 
white attack speed modifier, so this actually local mod is not the same. Is uh, that normal attack speed is a local mod, while the attack speed with a rare or unique enemy nearby is actually a global mod, and it is just the same as taking an attack speed node in your tree. Is not that good. Is not local. As for harvest, um, if you have something like this with the canor attack mods and the suffixes cannot be changed, the suffixes cannot be changed will protect the canor attack mods. So that after the reroll, the canor attack mods will still be on the item. So if, for example, I reroll critical on this, uh, the only three mods that I can roll are crit multi, crit chance to spells, and crit to attacks. And if I have canor attack mods after the reroll has, has happened, I should never get uh, crit to attacks. So if I craft, it should either tell me cannot generate mod if it tried to reforge, give us crit chance to attacks, and uh, then it says that you cannot generate it, and then you can just click again and you can do it after, or it just gives a crit multi, or it gives us crit chance to spells. So those are the three outcomes. And as you can see, this does not work, okay. This is actually not respected by Metacraft. I didn't know this. So, yep. Canor attack mods does not work with Harvest. RIP. In the example we had before, the attacks with weapon that penetrate kills res was protected by the prefix cannot be changed. In this case, uh, it's not protected by the prefix cannot be changed. So, we have suffix cannot be changed instead. So, our three suffixes will not be changed. And it will reload the prefixes. While well, before, when we clicked on the Veil Chaos Orb and uh, we clicked on the item, it said that it could not generate the mod. If after the reroll, uh, the mod gets rolled over by the Veil Chaos, you can actually apply a new Veil Chaos Orb. As you can see, we have a new Veil modifier. While if we were blocking it with a Metacraft, it would just tell us, like before, that we cannot generate the mod. Thanks for watching and thanks for everyone supporting the channel. If you want to see more content, I will be streaming on Twitch. I'll leave the link in the description below and see you in the next video.